Hey friends, I'm back with another video, and this one we're taking a step backwards. I know it's always better to go forwards, but in this case I want to take a step back because I want to do a video about being a, like a true newbie, and this is probably just going to be a one-off. There could always be like a part two later or something, but say you're on a TLP server, for this example, I'm not actually playing on a TLP server because you could see I'm not lying to anybody. I got me a mercenary there, okay? But that's just because it's easier for me to film this way. I give my, my character a little step up so I'm not dying every five seconds. Know that it's going to be a little harder for you if you're actually on a TLP starting at classic EQ with no other expansions. Of course it'll be harder, but this is more about crafting than it is about combat. So in my opinion, it's okay to have this little cheat that I'm doing for this video, because what am I doing? Gonna mostly be crafting. But I wanted to do a little bit of combat just to show you where you get some of the items that we'll be crafting with. So to me, I think that's always a little bit important. So we're starting off with a level two enchanter, high elf enchanter, here right in front of our home city. And we have a dwarf mercenary. I mean, who knows? Maybe you'll find a nice dwarven warrior that's an actual player that you could team up with or someone else, you know, just to give you a leg up. I like going after the wolves. Why do I like going after wolves? Because... They usually drop pelts, and pelts are good to learn tailoring. When you're level 1, you're starting off, especially on a TLP, you want even the ruined pelts, because you're going to want to get your skill up, and to get it up, you, you need every help you can get. And so you're starting off with a tailoring skill of 0, right? So with 0 tailoring, you need... You need to get up, and, and what better way than ruined pelts can you use or wear the armor made with ruined pelts? Well, not as a caster. You could if you were like a warrior or a rogue or a ranger or any, just almost anything but another caster uh, could wear leather. But you still want these because they will help you skill up. And I have zero skill in tailoring right now. Something else you like to kill in Greater Fate Arc is the skeletons because a lot of times they drop rusty weapons. And what do we need rusty weapons for? Aren't those just shitty weapons? Like hardly worth anything? Well, you'll see. They actually have a little bit of value as far as crafting goes. Also, you want to kill the spider hatchlings. I don't need to loot the uh, like the abdomens or anything, so I'm going to hit never. But you want to get spiderling silk. Uh, we won't find spider silk here, but I actually uh, did get some uh, from the bazaar on this character. Uh, so I do have some in my bags. Because again, what is this? It's a crafting video. It's not like a, a let's play playthrough. What? Are there actual people here? Are those NPCs? Of course, I'm going to have to go look. Ooh, there's an orc pawn. Hi, orc pawn. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to slay you quickly because I'm making a video right now. Ooh, he's got a sword. And there's going to be another orc pawn attacking, of course. Oh my god, those are actual players. The orc pawn dropped some silk. Oh, it's rough silk, though. So it's that different kind of silk. And there was another orc pond behind me. So I don't need to loot any finger bones. I'm going to hit never. I'm thinking this is probably a kickback guild. It might be two groups. I don't know. It could be one person boxing all of them. Or it could just be everybody's AFK. I don't judge. I don't care. I love two boxing and three boxing myself. Some more power to you guys. Just weird seeing you <laughs> here in Gfei. If you end up seeing my videos and you're like, hey, that was us. 
feel free to say hello. Give me a wave or something. And sure, I'm looting some of the Defiant armor that drops, but am I going to wear it just yet? No. Even if I get some that's silk, I'm not going to because I want to show you guys how I start uh, crafting on a server. If I play on a new server at TLP, it's like, what are the first things that I do? Well, I go out, I kill as many skeletons and wolves that I can and loot pelts um, and, and, and rusties. I try to loot as many rusties and pelts as I can. Ooh, and Orc. Orc has a rusty too, probably. I'm assuming that's going to be like a rusty spear or rusty short spear. Rusty spear, yes. So you can kill the Orc pawns too, because a lot of times they'll have rusty weapons. Although, you know, if you're unlucky, a lot of times you just get their stupid uh, hatchets, and you can't really do crafting with an Orc hatchet. At least I'm not aware of any recipe that works with it or catch it. So that's up to you if you want to experiment. Another orc. Ah, so many orcs here. Do they like spawn extra if you're killing a bunch of wolves? It seems that way. And you might be wondering what the hell am I am I using as a weapon? So I'll, I'll show you that. It's nothing very special. Uh, if, if you logged in recently, everybody got this um, augment that makes their weapon look like a frosty mug of beer. And that's kind of what I'm using. But what's in the frosty mug of beer? It's just 725. It's pretty crappy. It's the um, Orb of Tishan. I, I just had it in the bank, so I'm like, okay, that could be a weapon. And then I got a festive doll, so I have a few stats extra and a little bit of jewelry, but it's it's nothing nothing too fancy. So I just wanted to make my character look as naked as possible because we're supposed to be a newbie here, right? And again, like I said, I'm being honest with you by telling you, yes, I have this stuff. Okay, so it's a little bit of a cheat, a little bit of a hack. But like I said, this this only the first half of the video is me running around trying to kill a few things just to get that whole newbie and greater fate arc feel. You know what I'm saying? And as soon as I stop finding skeletons with rusties, ooh, uh, that's probably just a a staff. But still, oh, it's a cracked staff, and I can sell that for about a platinum even though I, I gave myself some platinum too, so don't really need the platinum, but I'm, I'm, I'm a loot whore. I can admit it. I'll grab it anyway. And, oh, there's a hatchling. Widow hatchlings. Always good. Usually drop spiderling silk. And they did. They dropped spiderling silk. There's also spider legs, which I think could be used in a food crafting recipe of some kind. Which I won't get into this one. If you really like total newbie crafting and you'd like to see more, then, you know, you could say something in the comments and maybe I could do another, you know, early food crafting, you know, something with food crafting. This one is going to be mostly to try to get some gear, uh, like armor. Now, I don't know if potion making is big in the first... Uh, expansion but if you see those little pixie tricksters and stuff if they drop pixie dust you could always save it in the bank because i believe pixie dust becomes a valuable uh potion material or potion you know potion making thing a little bit later on in the game so you want that you want to grab that if you can now, we're not going to fell with. Let's jog over to Kelethin, because I believe Kelethin has the larger uh, sewing kits. I don't know if Felwith has them. At least I think I'm going to feel stupid if 
Kelethin only has the small ones, I'm going to feel like a dumbass. And and I give you guys leave to laugh at me if it's if I screw the pooch and um, go to the wrong city. Cause, but I think it is Kelethin that has the large sewing kits, and that's what I want. So see, I didn't even buy a sewing kit yet, guys. I'm, I'm just, you know... And this is why we loot those cracked staffs, because you sell a couple of cracked staffs and you've got enough platinum for a sewing kit because they sell for almost a platinum each. Now, it might just be like eight or nine gold if your charisma is a little low. But even that, you know, like I said, sell two or three of those cracked staffs and you'll have enough. Uh, lady Servant, the Mighty Mouth. OK, no idea. Never met them before, to my knowledge. They've got a really nice looking bow, though. All right. So we're going to talk to General Supplies over here. Um, and we did get a few a few things. Let me... I hate the way that bag is when it's long like that. I always like mine a little wide. So we're going to save all this stuff because we don't need to sell it. Because, yes, I'm cheating. I got weight reduction bags. Um, woven spider silk those are that's like two gold right there so that's good to sell I don't need the cape I'm gonna sell that it's just stuff that dropped off some mobs here the cracked staff yeah one platinum one gold but that's with 132 charisma so it might be less uh, crude defined boots let's sell the defiant too we'll just pretend that we had some more cracked staffs. Those fangs are worth some gold too. You know, and it's just a little bit of gold here and there, but it adds up. So spider ling legs, those are not crafting supplies, but the spider legs are. So you could save the spider legs and leave the spider ling legs, or just loot them and then sell them. So, okay, we've got some stuff. We've got a little money now. So we're gonna go and try to find the tailor. I believe this guy back here is a tailor. Guy, girl, sorry. Or whoever she identifies as, it's fine. And of course, it's a small sewing kit. But I'm pretty sure there's a merchant here, a tailoring merchant. Oh, it's this dude. I believe it's this guy has large sewing kits. Yes. I was correct, you. so you don't make fun of me. I mean, you still can if you really want to, I don't care. But I, I did correct. I did not screw the pooch. I went to the right place right away. So, okay, we have our large sewing kit. So what now? What now, Fezzlewig? You're, you gotta tell us what to do. Now let's just make some masks. We'll start off with 20. Since I have some money to, to throw away, start off with 20 and we'll see if we have any. So let's look here at trade skills. My skill level uh, tailoring is zero out of 300. So yes, I wasn't lying when I said this character is a true noob. So mask pattern. And we've got a few ruined wolf pelts. So we try to combine them. Combine. Failure! Expect a lot of failure in the beginning. A lot. A lot of failure. Am I getting any skill ups? Oh, I don't want to use silk. No, no, no. I want to use the pelts. So I guess all of them are going to be failure. And I'm not getting a single skill up. I did get one mask though. I made a mask. So here is where if you are... A warrior or something you could actually wear that and you have a 2ac woo 2ac watch out you know but hey if you get a whole suit you know you end up getting an extra 10 12 ac out of the zero that you had or whatever so i mean it is worth it is worth doing um let's see what other patterns he has he has here Wristband pattern. I'm just going to buy a ton of wristband patterns and 
I think I'm all out of the wolf, the, the ruined wolf pelts, but I have some in the bank that I got from the bazaar or whatever, because again, this is more crafting video than anything else. So let's go to the bank and we'll get some of our pelts, some of our ruined pelts, and make some stuff with it and get our skill up a little bit. And this is what I do. I mean, of course, if I'm on a new server, I can't buy the stuff at the bazaar. So yes, I have to do it the long, slow, arduous way, which isn't fun for a video, which is why I'm cheating a little bit in the video. So ruined wolf pelts work. What else works? If you're in Everfrost, you kill polar bears, you get ruined bear pelts, right? And what else works? Um, ruined cat pelts, which you could get in the common lands, because there's a lot of cats in the common lands. So anywhere, cats are usually the medium pelts. So okay, we got a bunch of that stuff. I'm going to leave the other pelts there. And this might have to be more than one video, guys, because I'm sure it's going to get long. I wonder if I already have ruined stuff already memorized. I guess so. Here we go, small tattered wristbands. So I can make some some wristbands until I run out. I've only got only had four pelts. Oh I got a skill up. Tailoring skill two! Yes, I'm a master. So we used up our our small pelts, our, our wolf pelts. So let's use up some of the large ones. We're at three. Oh wow. That's actually a trade skill item. The large tattered wristband can be used in more trade skills for some reason. So we're just going with make all and we're going to do all these ruined pelts. And we're already at tailoring skill of 12. Now I do have a few buffs on me and some a little bit of jewelry with a few stats especially this festive doll that gives me plus 15 to all stats so it could be that I'm leveling or skilling up a little faster than you might because of this little unfair uh, advantage by being on just a regular server on, on Throne of Eye but the concept is the same is you just go and do use the ruined pelts and ruined pelts aren't just on the live servers or TLP <laughs> this is the same thing for P99 still using the ruined pelts after I've used up all my ruined bear pelts I've got 19 ruined cat pelts that I can use and as you see it's light blue now so tattered and ruined is uh, trivial at 26 once I hit 26 I won't need to I won't get any more skill ups from ruined pelts anymore and now ruined pelts are trivial so I'm at 26 so what's next well next would be making some raw silk or maybe some studded but I think I'm gonna go with silk Say you have better luck finding spiders, or maybe you have a friend who had a bunch of spiderling silk, and you have a ton of spiderling silk but no pelts, and you want to get your skill up a little bit. Well, you could combine spiderling silk into silk thread and get your skill up to 15. So even though it's trivial for me now, I'll make a little bit of silk thread just so I could show you what you could do with the silk thread after that. So I've got a little bit of silk thread now. Let's see what happens. We can combine two silk threads together. And what do we get? We get silk bandages. And these can be used, it looks like they're part of a quest, but they can also be used uh, to heal a little bit of damage if you're if you're afraid you're going to be bleeding out, you can use them just like regular bandages. And silk bandages are trivial at 21. So that's another low level thing you could do to get a few skill ups on tailoring. Something else you could do with your silk thread. You combine three silk threads and you can get a silk cord trivial at 26. And then you might say, well, what do you do with a silk cord? 
Well, I think I'm going to probably fail, but I'll make a couple of them here and, and maybe we'll get lucky and succeed. So here we got some silk cords in our bag and we're going to go and talk to the banker here and we're going to pull out some low quality pelts that we have. Here we go, low quality bearskin. It also works with low quality cat and low quality wolf. And I'm putting all that stuff in the wrong bag there. So if we combine it with low quality wolf skin, what do we get? We get a tailored small bag. These aren't great. Um, they do have weight reduction by 10. So it's 10% weight reduction bag, but it's only got four slats slots not slats with a size capacity of medium so large or giant items won't fit in that bag uh, next would be a low quality cat pelt with a silk cord and what comes from that is tailored large belt pouch which is a weight reduction of 10 capacity of 6 and capacity size medium. So again, nothing large or giant will fit in this bag. But at least it has two more slots. And again, it has a weight reduction. The best one is low quality bear. Hopefully I don't fail. And I succeeded in that one too. I'm just batting 100 today. So this one is uh, six slot and also 10% weight reduction. The thing I like about this is they only weigh 0 0.8, so it actually weighs less than a lot of backpacks out there. Has size capacity large. Still not giant, but at least it could hold large. Which I think I'm going to move one of my bags here to the side, and I'm going to try to test it out by seeing... Um, what fits in there so like okay rusties can fit in there just fine I think a rusty halberd would not though I think a rusty halberd would need to be a giant a giant sack or it would need to be size capacity giant sorry my words get jumbled in my mouth sometimes so that's what you could do with those so we're going to try to find where to buy sharpening stones. Sharpening stones are kind of a pain in the ass. I think in the original expansion, you can only buy them in Kaladim. I would have to run all the way to Kaladim. So we're back here at Felwith inside the city because I know I can get some sharpening stones here. I didn't want to run all over Kaladim and waste time while filming. And see here, there is a Dwarven Smith that will have sharpening stones. But two places that you can get sharpening stones in the original EverQuest before any expansions were released was in Kaladim. That's in Butcher Block. That's the Dwarven starting city. And pretty sure you can also get it in Akhanan, which is also a neighbor of Greater Fate Arc. Actually, it's it's next to less, Lesser Fate Arc, but, you know, it's just two zones, and you can get there fairly quickly, and you got to find the uh, Blacksmith Clockwork or something like that. But we're going to buy them here, and I'm just going to right away buy a big old stack. So we're going to go here to the Blacksmith place. First, I'm going to pick up some water, and I think this general supplies merchant will have water. Yes, water. And there are forges in the emerald armor, and these forges have been there since day one, so they won't be anything new. At least that's what I remember. And here's where we use our rusty weapons. If you remember, we went and grabbed us some rusties, so we get rusty spear. And we get a sharpening stone and we sharpen it and it didn't work 
So what do we do? We try to sharpen it again. And it didn't work. This is a nice thing. You get to keep your spear until you keep doing it and doing it. Doing it, doing it, d d doing it. Should we break for lunch? Nope, let's keep doing it, doing it. Until you start to uh, level up. Tarnished, so now it's a tarnished weapon. But it can still be used in more trade skills. So save it, don't like just drop it or destroy it. Another tarnished. Another tarnished. And you could do this with tarnished daggers or, or rusty, rusty daggers, rusty short sword, rusty long sword, rusty spear, rusty hammer, just any kind of rusty that I know of. Now, I'm not sure if it works on the rusty uh, kunark type weapons. If you know for sure if it works on rusty kunark weapons like the Shantak or other ones, I don't remember all their names, please leave a comment down below so the other viewers will know for sure if it's worth keeping some of those weapons to turn into tarnished. So now we've got a few tarnished weapons. We've got a blacksmithing skill of five, which isn't very good, but we're going to try to combine these tarnished weapons with water. So combine, and we lack the skills. So let's try again. Lack the skills. Try again. Ideally, you would save your tarnished in the bank until your skill is a little higher by using more rusties to create more tarnished um, before doing this step. But look, okay, I skilled up and I created uh, two small pieces of ore. So I don't know if I could do anything with two small pieces of ore. Yes, I can. So look, combine two small pieces of ore with a water flask, you got metal bits. So now what can I do? That I got my metal bits, and I haven't really needed to buy anything except for the sewing kit and the sharpening stones and the patterns to make stuff. So see, it's it's been relatively cheap and easy so far. So I looked it up real quick. And it's in Shop of Hollows, and I'm pretty sure it's that dwarf merchant. Yes, Belinda Clay Grinder has a whole bunch of stuff. Again, she's not in the original expansion, so she might not be here. But you can always look it up, eqtraders.com. Go there and then search File Mold and you can find locations that's where i get all my information so you could basically do my job for me if you wanted to but i'm sure you love my charming personality too so okay we got a file mold we've got our ore our metal bits these metal bits a water flask and the file mold hopefully it works yes it worked the first time. I think I need more bits. Oh, look. So a single metal bits uh, and a file. And what did I use a water flask to? I don't even remember anymore. And you can make 20 field point arrowheads. So you can start crafting yourself some arrows. So, huh? I mean, that wasn't actually what I was wanting to make just now. But it, it, it works, you know. It, it shows you how things can progress. So I'm actually going to buy some ore from the smithing uh, supplies person. But you could pretend that if you were in a situation where you couldn't buy the ore, you could just keep collecting rusties and, you know, turning the rusties into tarnished with the stones in the forge and then turning those rust or those tarnished into ore. So we bought some more. Here we are back at the forge. And I'm typing out the word stud. Why? Because we want to make some studs. Oh, but what do we need? We need metal bits first, right? So I'm typing out metal. And here we go, metal bits. 
And I'm already at blacksmithing 9, and it was 0 when we started. So we're going to combine some of these small pieces of ore. Oh, I hit the wrong button. So we're going to use make all. We got 100. I'm just going to hit combine until it's all used up. And we've got some bits to make studs. And the studs are trivial at 35. So we've got a good amount of studs. And what are we going to do with the studs? Well, we're going to try to make some studded armor. What do we need for studded armor? You know, we still got a bunch of these bracers. And the bracers, they're, they're one, these tattered bracers, they're not really good for much that I know of. So I'm just going to sell them. And that's something you could do. Instead of destroying the, uh, the stuff you make uh, or, or dropping it on the floor, just sell it to get some gold back because it's like one gold, four silver. I know it's not much. And if you got a bucket of gold or of, of platinum, then yeah, you could drop them or destroy them, whatever you want. But when you are on a budget, you'll sell them back. You can even like see if newbie players want them. So here's the thing too. This is a very helpful hint that I love. I don't know when it was released. So it might not work if you're on a... It's definitely not going to work on P99. But if you're on like a, a, a TLP server, I don't know if it'll work or not. But you could click on a hold bag because we want to sell everything. So I could just click on the bag. And then it says that I've got one plat, four gold, three silver worth of contents. And sell all the contents at once and it asks you to confirm and you say yes sold all the contents but left the bag in your inventory nice isn't it now i don't want to sell this backpack but i'll i'm fine with selling all the rest of the stuff because i already have better bags and things so again we could hit sell all and it sells everything that's in the bag. So isn't that a good little thing to sell stuff faster? I love it. Okay. So now we have our, our wristband pattern. Again, don't just make wristbands. If you need a full suit of armor, by all means, buy like one pattern for each slot. That way, if you've got 10... Uh, low or ruined wolf pelts and you're like a, a wood elf warrior you can wear the armor from that so get a, a tunic get legs get arms get shoulder pads get a cape and boots and gloves get it all get get the cap and you can make yourself a full le uh, set of like ruined uh, or tattered armor but right now what we're going to do is we're going to take a low quality pelt no sorry not low quality medium quality and since we're talking about elves so let's grab a wolf pelt I've only got two so it might end up not working so now we got to make the studs I thought I had made them but no I only made some metal bits not studs so for studs you need the file that we made and you need some metal bits uh, three things of metal bits and a flask of water and I'm just gonna hit make all so we're gonna use all this stuff to make our our studs and I should get some skill ups from this I might get some failures too uh, because it's not trivial yet but you see we're getting plenty of skill ups we're up to 25 now in smithing and we're making our studs which are showing up here in one of our bags don't get frustrated if you're on a TLP server and you're not skilling up quite as fast as I am. Because again, just another reminder, my stats may be a little higher. I've got a few little advantages like this festive doll that gives me 15 to all stats. Some of this jewelry that gives me 5 to all stats. So I don't want you to feel bad or discouraged if it's not looking like why Fez got it so much quicker and it's taken me forever and it's because this is just a video I'm also gonna be cutting out 
nonsense failures and my own stupidity. So please remember all that, okay? Don't let yourself get completely flustered. So here, now we have a wristband pattern, a medium quality wolf skin, and we have studs. I think I need two studs, but I'm gonna try it with one. Okay, it didn't work with one. So I think we need at least two. And there we go, we have a small studded wristbands, which this is four AC. I think the tattered was only two AC. So this has doubled the AC. But if you look, it's still a lot lighter than wearing um, banded or plate. So sometimes with some of my warriors, when they're weaker, like a, a high elf paladin, I will wear studded and reinforced leather uh, well into my level 30s sometimes just because I can't take the weight of metal armor. So it's, it's, it's nice. It's not that bad. I mean, sure, it doesn't have stats, but no armor had stats in the olden days. None. So let's see if I can make a... Uh, I still have some mask patterns here, so let's see if we can uh, use some of these studs to make a mask for ourselves. So remember, that's going to be a medium quality pelt to use with studded... To make studded armor, you need a medium quality pelt. And I failed. So instead, I can try making... Uh, using medium quality cat pelt because a wood elf can use a small or medium. There we go. So I made a studded mask, which I know this, the tattered mask was only AC2. This is AC3, so it gives you one more AC. So, yeah. Pretty nice, right? Now, I don't know if I can do the next level right away. I should probably work on tailoring a bit more. So that covers if you're a, a, a warrior class, right? Because you can use leather armor. But we want stuff for our caster. So we've got our tailoring up to 27 now, which isn't too bad. We might be able to make some raw silk now. So I'll type in raw silk in the search here. And all the recipes are already here. I don't know if they would appear the same way on a TLP server, uh, but it's all trivial at 36. Now what I need is, I need silk swatches. I only have the raw silk, spider silk. So I'm gonna have to make some swatches. So for that, I'm gonna type silk, SW, silk swatch, there we go. And we're gonna turn all of this into silk swatches. And fortunately, it's already trivial, so we won't get skill ups, but at the same time, it's a lot less likely to fail. It actually is showing combine 100%, so I guess making a silk swatch is a no-fail combine, which is good because we get a lot of failures, especially when we're low level like this. All right, we've got all of our silk swatches made, so now we can make some raw silk. And I guess what I can start with, well, I don't want to make wristbands or a mask because I already have a mask. So let's try to find us some patterns here. And I believe there's a merchant up this way, up here past the bank to get some patterns. Maybe from this leather armor merchant. Yes. Okay, so we could buy a boot pattern, a cap pattern, a glove pattern. I don't need a gorget. A pant pattern. A sleeve pattern. A tunic pattern. And you do use a tunic pattern for raw silk. Um, not a did not a robe pattern. It's a tunic pattern to make a raw silk robe. So, so watch here. I'm like, you know, looking like naked uh, high elf. So I'll try to combine. 
And oh, we got ourselves some gloves. Let's try making the headband. Oh, we got ourselves the head part. But I guess that doesn't leave a graphic on the elf. Get some leggings. Look at that spicy bondage gear now. I always enjoyed how the leather look on, on high elves looks almost like bondage gear. Uh, the robe. We failed the robe. So we could try again. Uh, silk sandals. That's with the boot pattern. Alright, so we got boots now. Stop turning around. Come on. Everybody wants the fashion show. The sleeves. Alright, got the sleeves. And maybe I'll make one wristband just because it'll add to the whole look. So we still need the robe. So let's get another tunic pattern off this guy. I don't remember him used to having tunic patterns. So I don't know if that was something they added later. You might need to go to Kelethin for your tunic patterns, guys, if you're playing on a TLP. And it failed again. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy 10 right away. So I don't have to keep, keep doing this bullshit. Failed again. Why am I failing? I. It happens on live a lot. For some reason, I fail making the robe so many times. Wait, I'm, oh, I'm failing making wristbands. Damn it. I'm trying to make robes here. And robe uses two silks, not just one. So you can run out of silk real quick if you keep failing trying to make your robe. And there we go, we finally got the robe, guys. And look at me, I don't look like a total noob anymore. I mean, maybe I do, because people probably know what uh, raw silk already looks like. But yeah, so so what's our new AC looking like? So we've got uh, 3 AC from the headband, 6 AC from the robe, and it's all very light too, see? 0 0.4. We've got a 4 AC from the legs, 3 AC from the gloves, we got 3 AC from the boots. Uh, oh, and then there's the wristband. We got 2 AC. And that was just from stuff we crafted. Stuff that you could find on mobs that are just running around. Uh, you might be able to trade some of your uh, crush bone belts or something for some some silk swatches, maybe, uh, when, you know, when everybody's just doing the shouts, like, want to sell crush bone belts, you know, or just sell some crush bone belts to get to purchase some silk from people if you can't kill the spiders. But let's go look for some spiders real quick, too. And I'll show you where you could find some spiders at a lower level so you can make your own raw silk. So here we are in Butcher Block, and Kaladim is over that way. So we're going to go the opposite direction. We want to go closer to the Great Fate Arc Zone. And I believe there are some spiders over there. Again, this isn't like something I need to do. It's just something I want to do. I like showing you guys where you could farm your own materials. Because you might want to know. You might want to know where spiders are. Another great place to find spiders is actually Everfrost. Everfrost has tons of spiders. You can get spiderlings, you can get polar bears to have bear pelts, and in the uh, where the mammoths roam over there in, in a slightly higher level area of uh, Everfrost there are the larger sized spiders that drop the regular spider silk. Now unfortunately there are still hazards over there. Ooh, goblin. And he's level 4 too, so let's go fight him. He was indifferent to me, how interesting. I didn't think goblins would be indifferent to an elf. Green goblin blood. Oh, look, he's, he dropped a scythe. 
So let's load it so we can make some more ore. Make some tarnished runner. No, 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 leave me alone. You dumbass runner. What level are you? Eight? I actually think my mercenary can take him. Yeah, we're actually messing him up. So, you asked for this, dude. I tried to run away from you. You could have freaking ignored me. Oh, and I got a level. I think I got some spells I can memorize. Yes, I do, I do. How grand. What a nice piece of serendipity. Thank you, orc douchebag, for attacking. So, here we go. See, not a liar. And there are similar large spiders that hang out in a cannon. I guess they're just more rare. And unfortunately, this douchebag didn't have the courtesy to bring any silk for us. So we're going to have to go massacre his family. There's also some scarabs here, which this guy's level 8, which is yellow. And considering my mercenary just took out level 8 orc runner... Pretty confident we could do a level 8 Scarab after gaining a level and memorizing some of our better spells. Uh, oh, Goblin! Apprehensively already? That's gonna kill his friend earlier. Come on, Goblin. Come fight me. <laughs> Come fight me! Goblin brains, are they worth anything? I mean, obviously, the goblin wasn't really using it. Uh, I'm going to actually see right away. I want to see if they're worth anything. So I'm going to go over here to this wayfarer's camp. Because I can't, it's hard to fit in those stupid houses. Those dang tiny dwarf houses. And let's see if the brain is anywhere. There it is, the brain. Goblin brain, one silver, so not really worth looting. The last thing I want to do in this video is quickly show you how to make steel boning. Why? Because we still have high quality pelts that can be used for something. So if you have small bricks of ore, either by melting down tarnished weapons with the water flask, or, or if you bought some small bricks of ore from a merchant, you combine that with a water flask and a file and you get steel boning. And how do you use steel boning? Well, steel boning you can use to make reinforced armor. After a little practice, getting my tailoring skill up to 54, I'm going to try doing a reinforced wristband one more time before I end the video. Maybe it'll succeed. That was one failure. Another failure. And I got my skill up to 55. So I really don't think it's going to happen during this video. It's going to make me look like a big fat phony. And that's okay. I can live with it. Because obviously it works. It's just saying I lack the skill to do it. So this is a great way to get your skill up higher, although it does use up a lot of high quality pelts. And I, as far as high quality pelts, I, I mean, I don't mind using cat pelts or wolf pelts for this, but I wouldn't waste high quality bear pelts for this because you can easily use those to make uh, tailored backpacks. Tailored backpacks are weight reduction 10%, capacity 10, so they're 10 slotted bags, and capacity size large. So they're better to be used for making backpacks because people will buy the backpacks from you uh, and pay a lot more than what they would for some reinforced leather. I'm just trying to show you this. I'm doing the wrong damn thing. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to show you how to make the reinforced leather in case you ever have some kind of uh, a warrior or something that needs a little bit of armor and 
is new and can't find anything better at first. So maybe you can craft some of your own. And we, we finally, did it! We did it! We did it! Managed yes. to make one small reinforced wristband. AC5. So I'm not even going to try fucking with making a tunic because I'm sure that will take a higher skill level. And maybe we'll see. Yeah, see, it's, it's yellow. So the fact that I was able to get one thing done is a miracle. Uh, some of these need uh, two steel bonings or, or might even need as many as three. I think the tunic needs, yeah, tunic needs four. And a tunic would be AC 11. So again, it's it weighs about half of what metal armor does. So it is better in that sense if you've got to worry about weight and you're on some TLP server. Doing the very first expansion, this is what I did to get armor. I farmed the crap out of pelts and, and bought some ore. At first I made ore by breaking stuff down, by breaking down the tarnished. And then I started just buying the ore when I had a little more money. And I made steel boning, I made studs. I make plenty of studded and reinforced leather on P99 when I played there for a bit. And it would sell, I'd sell it to people. Because, you know, finding gear, especially on that server, P99, which is just classic EQ all the way. Uh, there, there is no armor drop and there's no defiant armor drops off level one mobs or anything like that. So yeah, any any armor class at all you can get, stats or no stats, everybody was like, gimme, gimme. So I don't know if this helped anybody. And yeah, I cheated a little bit because I, I got sick of, of, of going through it the hard way. So I, I came to Crescent Reach because I had easy, fast access to everything. But yeah, again, I just did this to try to help if you're on any server that's, you know, new and like a, a TLP server, this might help you. It might not. But remember, guys, I have a Patreon. I'd love to get more patrons. You'd be doing me a favor. You'd be helping support me. You'd be supporting the channel and, and keeping this going. Thank you. Uh, also, check out the Discord. Check out the Twitter. Have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow.